six. Six. See? You're nearly getting there. Okay. Keep practicing. It'll happen. Don't worry. Okay. How are we going, man? Yeah, we're doing good. Oh, we're live. <laughs> Episode number deuce. <laughs> that means shit and two. Is that right? Yeah. What language does it mean shit in? Uh, it's dos, isn't it? Isn't it Spanish? Shiza. It's three though. Oh no, it's no, it's two. Deuce, d- isn't a Uno deuce dos. a shit and Uno dos. Ah, yeah. dos and deuce. Dos. Anyway, we've had a fucking. We just had a, a weird day, like a re- pretty cool day, to be honest. We um, we're filming for our upcoming series, which will, when you're if you're listening to this, this will be out next Sunday, the following Sunday that you're listening to this. We just fucking and we're starting our series. Which sport is the scariest? And um, we just had a fucking bit of a box with um, Anthony Mundine and fucking hell. He hit us pretty hard. Like there were a moment I was, I was tr- well and truly rocked. I was dizzy standing up. Some and like pretty sparkles. And, and being, being rocked doesn't really hurt. So you're like, oh, but it, you feel wobbly and shit. And then after I felt quite sick for a while and um, pretty bad headache now. And my neck's a bit fuck eyed, but you, you're fine. Yeah, we just compensated with a little bit of marijuana to help the pain after. <laughs> Actually, a smallest token, he's completely fuck eyed. Not used to it. I'm but we have up. big news. Michael this has an announcement. Very to important. Make. Now, when Marty does his next squirty, we are going to attempt to put. Is this a flute or a recorder? A recorder? Recorder. What's gonna- the difference? One you go like this, yeah. One you go like this, yeah. And we're gonna well shove done. this just a little bit up Marty's asshole, and we're gonna see if we can play music as he does a squirty. Look, we saw a comment and it said, um, "I wonder if you know you can your farts can you can play a musical instrument." And I stupidly told Michael about it, and he got really excited and bought a fucking recorder <laughs> that very second. And so now, yeah, I'll see. I'll see what happens. All right. Like it's, I, so it's, true. It, it, there's, it's still. I just worry about my future. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to be known as that guy, dude. It's just. Oh, you're it's the, like you're one the, of many talents. It's like just one of your tricks. <laughs> How far up are you going to put it? Oh, just, oh it's just a up little to like here, <laughs> like halfway in. <laughs> just shit comes out of the end. No, just the tip, so we can hear the music. Oh, it'd be cool to squeeze, push this up your ass, and push your shit out because the shit had come out of the little holes, oh. like little oh. worm out of the holes and push it out of the end there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but just back to mundane we've just posted some promo on our socials and man everyone is like i had no idea how disliked he was in australia everyone's like you fucking idiots fucking video with him it's just a very good boxer and to be honest he's very nice to us yeah he's nice a legend guy. such a cool dude so um did he have a bit of a laugh with you guys he was yeah, a bit quiet he was a bit, guy. Was a bit quiet at the start but um by the end yeah he was laughing with us and just fucking punching the fuck out of us <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because we weren't fighting back, you know, because we don't want to... He's doing us a big favor. Plus, it's just funnier if, if we're just getting beat up. So, yeah, he just went to town on us quite did well. You, did you throw three punches at him? Oh, when he, was, get him? when he was at distance, I was trying to keep him away by just stabbing my arm out at him, yeah. Wouldn't call it punches, though. Two. I just went full cocoon. Yeah. <laughs> and he was punching through the cocoon that you had made. Oh, dude, he could wrap around. It, was, it felt like scorpion punches Sorry. going on. He was getting the back of the head. Um, so yeah that was our week other than that we've just been filming the fucking uh, we'll, we'll he- move on to our we'll get the sponsors out of the way and then we'll fucking move on man how's that bloody sound mate hey? Roger yeah no worries alright we uh, we got fucking Manscaped here right and we Michael and I have a discount code for you it's fully actual all one word and that gives you right 20% off just like that all you gotta do is say your discount code so if you're buying something you need a new shave or you need a new razor or you need a ball towel or anything random like that and you want to save 20% money, you may as well just use our discount code fully actual. Do you know what I mean? Like it makes sense. There it is. It makes fucking sense. Here it is. Look. So if you need some shit, head over to manscaped.com, 20% off. uh, Fully actual is the discount code. And of course... This podcast is proudly brought to you by the University of Markle, our subscription website, our little baby. We got weekly vlogs on there now. We got fucking hypnotized last week. And to be honest, 
doesn't really work like it's you're more relaxed when you do this shit but i wouldn't say i was hypnotized and you said the same thing just makes you feel more comfortable to do it yeah well anyway we got a 20 minute 30 minute video of that on the website we got fucking vlogs galore every single week massive vlog behind the scenes of all the videos we film and just our day-to-day lives so if you want to support us support the podcast just jump on there's a fucking free trial in the link in the description you can see if you like the videos if you don't like it then leave free of charge no worries <laughs> if you like it and stick around and support us fucking boy. yeah fuck <laughs> you know what i mean mate it's like come on how many times do i have to explain this to them just fucking give us money <laughs> like what the fuck is happening it's everyone's just a little us- bit <laughs> it's just a little bit <laughs> it's just like seven have you cups fucking of got it matt hey have, have you, got you the signed up <laughs> <laughs> you fucking pig <laughs> wow you pig that is animal oh imagine it'd be so nice <laughs> i nearly threw this recorder at him eh? it would have been so nice if then he just said that's what i was watching in the car for half an hour and then started crying because we thought that he wasn't being supportive and ran out <laughs> oh. i wasn't doing that though was i no you were having work calls i'm so excited for the fucking german so am segment, i i don't dude. know why it's just another language it's nothing in, it's nothing incredible it is it's the just another best language. part of this podcast i reckon now well maybe one week we should get like an italian or a french person on or something and they can read something in there no language. because you are native german okay. there's no other native it's not like matt's italian look i guess i just don't know why it's so funny okay it's it's my native tongue spaghetti because yeah, yeah. It's like when you went to Germany, everyone in Germany said, you sounded weird. So, you are a different sort of German. No, that's just because I spoke like an older person because I'd never hung out with people my age. Like a, You know how like, <laughs> so a, like, like, really a, like a 40-year-old would talk to like a 15-year-old? You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. I was talking like a 40-year-old, not using any slang, like very outdated terms for things. And they're like, what? No one says that. <laughs> That makes me happy. But anyway, it is a lovely, truly lovely language. Um, it's quite a um, tongue workout. Uh, but if you listen to it, uh, it is, it's is—it's beautiful. It's there's something very pretty about German words. Not at I all. Think. Especially from you. You make it aggressive. All right. What's next, Matt? Oh, on this day. You, were you up really day. late writing them, Matt? No, I got them done early last night and then I had a, a bit of dinner with my girlfriend. Is that right? What'd you eat? Uh, she made um, like a, a stir fry. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Oh, man. All right. Here we go. On I'm, this I'm day, listening. everyone. Here we go. On this day. Whose fucking phone is that? You put that fucking phone on silent. Quiet on set. Who is it? I don't know. What does it say? Coin car? Casa Kibbo? Oh, yep. Casa Kibbo. All right. The lad explains it. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Uh, anyway, on this day in 2014, people in Argentina got all got sand and threw it in each other's eyes. They all laughed and laughed, but 40% were permanently blinded. Stupid Artinians. Don't they realize that sand thrown with force can com- completely destroy the irises? <laughs> yeah, you're right, man. Yeah, I guess. Like, you take that one quite personally, did you? Yeah. I actually grew up near the beach. <laughs> and they used to say to kids when we were younger that if you throw sand in your eyes, the you know how dogs shit on the beach all the time? Yeah. Worms get in the sand. They reckon it gets in your eyes that are permanently blind. So, is that why you took a bit of offence to that one yeah. in particular? Oh, Tinians. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says, our Tinians. Very good. On this day in 2018, the Queen had her back steamed to try and straighten it. The steam failed and she's still bent. And she got so badly burnt that her skin bubbled like a cheese fondue she now has sewn together hand towels as back skin <laughs> that is fucking disgusting <laughs> fondue <laughs> bubbling like a cheese fondue oh. on this day in 2014 a broken down bus owned by Owen Wilson was seen sucking off a library Owen Wilson is said to be furious it's a weird one man. <laughs> I'm a big fan Broken down oh. bus was seen sucking off a library, it says here, Matt. Okay. So I might have to start cross checking these. I'm not sure. Is that possible? Like a bus sucking off a library. Google it. Okay. 
All right, last one. On this day in 1955, a large shovel gave birth to Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis never met his shovel-fucking father, but he will never admit that he's half shovel. YouTube Bruce Willis digging and you'll see how that is, okay? (laughs) Comment what you find and help me research for fuck's sake. Don't you all know that I'm a woman trapped in a man's body? I'll deny it till my deathbed after this and will only write this this one time because I've had a surge of emotion and feel comfortable to say it at this very second. Please don't dwell on this and just quickly move on. Do not attempt to talk to me about this after in any way, shape, or form. You know what you know now, so be still and move on. Okay. That's the end of On This Day. Oh, that's good. Oh. Uh, all right. Well, moving on, I guess, Matt. If uh, Do you, yeah. kind of awkward, Should we? Awkward now, but... Don't feel awkward. Okay. All right. I don't want any trouble, all right? Do you know what the next segment is? Yes. What is it? Is it the German one? No. <clears throat> you the time? hunt. Oh, it's time for the hunt. <laughs> yeah, exciting shit for the fucking hunt this season. Oh man, well this week. All right, so uh, we told you what happened last week, right? We DM'd Hamish and Andy. Well, let me tell you, we, we're fucking making some progress. All right, I will read to you Andy's reply. Yes, that's right, Andy's fucking reply. We're fucking getting there. Come on. Come on, man. All right, it's good and bad. All right, so we, we were very positive. We thought it was going to be easy at one stage, but it's turned into, it's probably going to be a bit harder. Anyway, so I said what I said about him thinking he's a hologram and we need to send him a shirt, blah, blah, blah. And he replied and said, happily, hit up, and then he puts his manager's email address for best addressed. Yours sincerely, hologram Andy. So, like, that's sort of... He might be a hologram. He's hinting at it. Like, he said that. He said, and then I replied, that is such a hologram thing to say. So, um, and then I did, Hamish? They're using excuses, guys. Yeah, they're they're playing hide the ball here, I feel. And uh, anyway, I, Hamish hasn't even seen the message, hasn't even seen it. So, that's also something that like, if you're a computer, if you're a bot or a hologram, you don't read DMs. So, that sort of fits that narrative. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 So, that's like, I'm starting to lean towards... Anyway, this is what I said to the manager, everyone. Hey, Eliza, I hope you're doing well. This is not a business request. I was just hoping you would open this email. Oh, yeah, I put in the um, description, the uh, subject of the email, business request, so that she'd open it. Because I didn't want to write, oh, Andy's a fucking hologram. (laughs) Anyway... I was hoping you would open this email. <clears throat> anyway, and then I explain what we are, what we do, and that we think that they're holograms, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Andy replied, confirming that they can do this and asked me to email you. Is there an address we can send the shirts? Or was Andy's reply an automatic reply built into his hologram software? Thank you for your time, Eliza. All right. And then she replied, she replied, if you can get the shirts to us by next Tuesday, which is today, there's a small chance I can get the boys to it. So we're like, fuck, we've done it. This is so easy, right? Didn't we say that? Yep. We even stood up and clapped and embraced each other. Then they simulated a new fucking then, thing. Yeah, this is, we're starting to develop a bit of a theory here. So they felt cornered. Eliza's probably in on this. Who knows? She could be a hologram herself. She was like, you know, they knew that we were on to them about something. So what do they do? They pretend that there's another fucking outbreak in Melbourne. Coronavirus. And they use that as a more like a bigger deal than what we're trying to do here. So to see if they're a hologram. So the hologram people make this up, right? And now everyone's they, back in lockdown. They start a new simulation. Bullshit. So, so the shirts can't get to them. So the shirts are stuck now, right? And Tuesday, what she said, make sure they're here by Tuesday because this will be the last chance for a while that we can do it. They stole our. So shirts. they fucking fucked us. All right. So the shirts aren't there yet. Hamish hasn't even opened the fucking DM, the hologram. And bloody Andy's Andy's stopped replying. So, you know how he's on the Australian Open doing that guess who with the other players? I put a story up of uh, like filming him on the TV being like, you, you, this is a fucking hologram or something. And then he tagged him and then he saw it. And he's hiding reply. now. So, I don't even know if he thinks it's funny, which is a bit cringy. But anyway. Well, that's what a hologram would do, dude. Yeah. They get annoyed. Yeah, they wouldn't cringe. What happened to the Tupac hologram? He turned off. They just switched him off the wall. Boom, done. Oh, I thought he got shot. No, no. The bullet went straight through him. He's fucking hologram, man. He's, he's forever, but he's just having a sleep. 
Well, they switched oh. the button off and they think it sort of fucked the wires up. So they got to wait till like 2050 when technology's up there and oh. they can put the wires back together using a special metal that they'll find in 2029. E15, man. Um, yeah, so that's the latest. So, oh yeah. And then the emails continued with the manager. I said, oh, you know, COVID, blah, blah, blah. And she's like... Um, Hey, Marty, correct. Hamish, we're not coming here anymore because of good old COVID and we don't know when we'll be seeing him next. But at this stage, I can still see Andy on Thursday. So we should be able to get him on board. So, so we're like halfway possible to what we need. But just, yeah, so we're halfway there. Uh, I'm starting to think maybe Andy isn't a hologram because- He might be real. He, he might be the real one of the two, you know, and he might be the one who just switches the button on and off. Yeah. That makes sense, right? Because Hamish hasn't even opened the fucking DM. Yeah. So- so we might get one if the shirts get let through, but it's a big maybe because they're all in lockdown. So if the shirts don't get through by Thursday, we'll have zero. If the shirts get through, we might have one, but one is not enough. We need to prove or disprove this. This is the hunt. This is why we do what we do. This is the hunt. We were born for this. So we need all of our ringworms, all of our listeners to rally and go to Hamish Blake's Instagram. Not Andy right now. Go to Hamish. If we can get both on board in writing, that will go a long way to prove or disprove our theory. We need you to comment on his latest post. Read Marty and Michael's DM. It's Read Marty and Michael's DM. You are a hologram, Andy. We're on to you, buddy. Not Andy. I mean, Hamish, we're fucking Don't do on that to Andy. you. Yeah. Just <laughs> Hamish. Leave Andy alone. He's already on board. Okay. We don't want to annoy him and scare him off doing the shirt thinking that we're fucking psychopaths. <laughs> psychopaths. Yeah. So just Hamish. Target Hamish. Use all of your power. Comment as much as you can. We need to do this together. You guys are part of this hunt too. We are fucking going to get some fucking answers. I'm sick of it. This is very important. This is more. This is more. More than everything that's going on right now. This is the most important. Don't thing you understand? Me. Don't you understand, Matthew Brown? <laughs> anyway, this isn't a laughing matter, dude. So we need to. So yeah, we're asking everyone. If you hear this, tell a friend. Just fucking get people bulk comments on. Start checking if your friends are holograms. <sighs> if you haven't seen any of your friends, sorry to break it to you, but it's an epidemic. <laughs> An, there's a pandemic going on and there's an epidemic of holograms running around fucking pretending to be real people and people are buying it and i'm not i'm not up it i'm not having any of it nothing did you ever watch animorphs <sighs> it's so funny that you mentioned that man because no i've never ever watched them okay all right what's uh the next fucking uh let's fucking answer some dog ass questions you fucking <laughs> smile like a cheshire cat with a bloody oh michael's bowl of milk. Up. Well, he's been, to, oh wait you're reading him i'm so used yeah. to reading him yeah oh, we've been i've been reading him for like for a long time yeah well the a fucking, season now the Man, this, he, had, is... he had literally the smallest amount and you were like fucking like two hours ago yeah it's because it's so concentrated it was like grinded up well the first 20 minutes of this <laughs> podcast is michael sitting super low and marty just looks gigantic Oh, yeah, it's hard to sit straight up. <laughs> Let's try. Oh, there we go. Man, your ribs going all right. Oh, you're a lot bigger now. Yeah, I'm tall. He's an anamorph. Weren't you listening? <laughs> no, it's yeah. It connects with the fucking hologram shit. Yeah, I'll have to look into it and watch everything. Yeah, tonight. What's this? I think it's nutrition. Yeah, it's nutrition. Little fly, pop it in your mouth. Mmm. Little baby fly and pop straight in your mouth. Like that. <laughs> mm. Yummy. <laughs> oh, is that a fly? Hey, Michael's just put a dead oh, fly. Oh, here it comes my way. Oh, I wouldn't have put Did it get you? No. A oh. spider could have bitten it and it's venom and now the venom's in your mouth. It doesn't, yeah, it's dead. It translates. Yeah, it translates. Dead. Could have drank blood. Holograms can't do that shit. Apparently. That's how you know I'm not a hologram. That fly would have gone straight through. That's me. exactly what a fucking hologram no, would No, because say. it yeah, would have gone straight through. You fucking hologram. We've huh? done tests. All right. All right. Questions from the podcast. Yes. Uh, first question is from Michael Guzzi. Uh, have you two ever gotten so mad at each other that you stopped hanging out for a while? Oh, look, we've had we've had arguments, but never, never. I've seen a little level. couple of tiffs, but you never really stopped hanging out. Yeah. yeah. Nah. Sometimes we'd hang out more when we were arguing. It's because we like to have cat fights. 
I remember watching you two at a nightclub. You had a major tiff and you like you both walked over to a corner and because it was so loud at the nightclub, all we could see is the hand gestures <laughs> and all of us sat there like the children that we were of you guys just watching mum and dad fight but not knowing what you're saying. Oh, we so- that was sorted out quick though. Oh, yeah. It went yeah. really quick, but it was just funny to watch. <laughs> <laughs> you're our kid, man. Um, next question is from Schmidt. Oh, no. Um... Are Jackson and Shami still mates? They never seem to be together anymore. We answered this last week. Well, well yeah. Well, it was we a bit did, of a different well, question. Yeah, we can't really answer. Like, it's not really a place yeah. to say. You know, we don't yeah. want to bring up any drama and shit. Ask them. Sorry, boys. We can't fucking say shit. Um, next question is from Liam G. Uh, how can you... Oh, how can you eat a chicken without its feathers? Um, you could put a straw in its ass and start sucking until it concaves in on itself. And then... Um, so, what, well, the feathers be- stay on? You've got to try and eat it. Is that right, mate? Yeah, without taking the feathers Yeah, off. yeah, I'd start, stuff a oh. big straw. I'd kill it first, mm. humanely. I'd maybe put it in the car and put the hose from the exhaust through the window, kill it humanely. Well, and then, um, yeah, big, ho- big uh, straw in its ass and just suck its innards out until the feathers are the only thing left. And Michael doesn't eat chickens. That will be his answer. Oh, I had some chicken today. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Myself. Rapture. Well, when was Mundane. that the first time in a long time? Oh, I've had it probably like once a week on average for a little while. Yeah. You've changed. Fuck, it was good. Mm. Next question is from Taylor Dow. Um, question for the podcast. In five years time, what do you see or hope the evolution of your content will look like? High production, really fun shit. Like, yeah, like fucking... Adventures. God, I'm keen on the alien doc. Yeah, shit like that. Um, just, just like less content but much higher quality like shit that we really want to do and make and not stuff that we know we have to make to um to entertain uh, the masses you know yeah like adventures are fun i want to go through some drains not that what we do now isn't fun but it's just like yeah the some of the shit that we have really big interests in would probably be very it's very niche you know so mm. we it would be fucking what's that i don't know Something's in Michael's room. It's a dog. Is that a dog? I thought it was a frog. Hmm. Frog dog. Next question is from Nikki, uh, the girl who provided us with the German phrase cards. Um, can you do? Can you both do a hula hoop competition with each other? Yeah, all right. And follow up question: Who would win? I think Michael would win. His hips are so loose. I wonder what we could do mm. to make it like we could do it right that the hula hoop's on fire. And that could work. Can you make that work? And put the what? hula hoop on. You know fire, fire and shit? Yeah. Is there hula hoops that we can do on fire? Yeah, 100%. And the oil won't get on us so yeah, we light 100%. on fire? 100%. I think that's we should also- ways to do that that's half our safe. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you a website where we can pick and choose from different things we can play with. And we'll be able to wrap it around and won't really burn for a little while? Yeah, it'll be fine. Fuck yeah. That's fun. And if you can't, we can make our own one out of it. We can just buy the wick and just make one. And it'll be fine. Third okay. degree burns. No, we'll have a shirt on. Mm, we'll see. Next question is from Sabrina. Um, finally, the Mondays are making sense again. Hmm. Um, question for the podcast. Michael's back. Is it still on his back? Yeah. Oh, it's always been there, man. Like I realized it starts to click now when I'm doing like exercises. Yeah. It's a click in my spine. I was looking at your back the other day. The little muscles are growing on it. Mm, we've Fuck been it hitting hurts. the gym. We've been living a very healthy compared to what we were. Man, we are. Um, we're good boys. And Michael's <sighs> back is all over his back. Show him. Show him your back. I can't really be fuck turning. Just show him a little bit of it. There you go. That's it there. See that bit of skin at the bottom? That's actually the back there. That's where it starts. His back starts. This is all forehead here. A neck. Forehead and neck. <laughs> uh, next question. Uh, Taylor Dow, sneaky dog, got a second question in. Um, Again? Yeah. Fucking Taylor Dow always gets two in. <laughs> Zoop, there goes your hair. <laughs> <laughs> With the manscaped shaver, I said that, didn't I? <laughs> 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 um, he asked, would you ever consider doing a five-minute FaceTime with one of your members once a week as a, I'm guessing as a competition? Well, yeah, we want to, we've, yeah, we've got an idea for some tier shit. No, yeah, so we're, we're introducing that to the website. So you'll be able to pay a bit more a month and we'll do shit like go live with you 
um for five minutes and have a chat and shit like that um so yeah that that is coming that is all coming sounds like a fucking sex toy isn't it mm. speaking of sex toys we're gonna beat each other with them tomorrow that's right anyway next question is from give peace a chance uh they're the actual people who um asked a question about the instruments um can it's a scientific question can marty play a musical instrument with his farts yeah so, so i read that, try that i read that to michael and he instantly bought this <laughs> and i've never seen him so there's so much pressure to have a good fart because michael is the harshest critic because I've seen so many and you, like- Yeah, they it's have like, to keep getting better and yeah, better. Well, not better. You just got to make them like on par with some of the best. Oh no. Like if it's in like the top five range of what you've ever done, then I'm happy. Yeah, no, I know. I've, I've done maybe what, a thousand? So I have to be in the top five every time. Otherwise I get scalded. <laughs> <laughs> but like- you know it's worth it for you too when you hear that ending that just keeps going for yeah, a little bit too long. I can't because if I listen to it, I start laughing myself <laughs> and I ruin it. So I you, have, just, I you just constantly I literally have to, have to clear my mind and just <clears throat> and just concentrate on just making it last as long as possible. And then afterwards, the, when I stop squeezing my brain as hard as I can, the blood comes back and then I can sort of gauge was it funny or not and think back to the noise that I just heard. <laughs> okay, I'll try and appreciate... Like the shitter ones more. Oh, no. No, he's going to be fake. No, he's going to say, oh, yeah, that was a good one. And I'm gonna, oh, yeah. Okay. Be, no, you so got to be real. I'll just be real with it. Yeah, yeah. But. Be, be real with it, brother. If we. That's why you can do shorter ones with the fucking recorder and it will be much better. I'll be excited because I'm hearing music. I can't believe I'm going to do this. Like, how the fuck do I have a girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> a six-year-old stepdaughter. I reckon it's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. It'll be funny. But like. But like, even like. It's sort of like you're showing off. It's like a skill. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> no one can do that. Not many people can say they can play music out of their ass. Okay, I'll try my best, okay? Yep. I want to play this for you guys. <laughs> I want to do the poo. I bet you if we leave this line around, one day a friend's going to come over and start playing and the end's been in my ass. For <laughs> yes, fucking- <laughs> dude. That, is, that oh, is the idea. We'll get Julian. We'll get- dude, can you play us a song? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we'll test him if he watches the podcast or not. <gasps> Next question is from Keys Jones. Now, there's two of these on in question today. I'm not sure why, but they're very similar. But um, he's asking you if you can threaten him and his family. Now, before you do, I want to ask, is this one of those baits where they capture your voice threatening like a psychopath and use it against you? Oh, yeah, it is. It's probably a fucking hologram. You know what yeah. this is? Is this Andy? Exactly right. They could have made a hologram to comment, get a video like that, so they they can blackmail us. That's what their son. So no, that's their son. Excuse me, mate. You have a lovely family. You and your family. We wish you nothing but the best, and we love you. Hmm. So that's that. Check check and mate. Because I had one from another guy named Manny Garcia, and says, "Can you guys cuss me out?" Which is another word for. Well, that's the shit we do on. What's it called? Starts with the quinoa. Patreon. Cameo. 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 It's not stuff. Yeah, you can book us on Cameo for videos, by the way. Hey? That's where we roast people. We've roasted some people on there. Imagine if that's just some innocent fucking (laughs) holograms. (laughs) (laughs) Making compilations. Hate compilations. Uh, Next question is from Holzer Holtz. (laughs) Um, How do your partners get along with each other and each of your families? Yeah, fine. Well, yeah, I get get on well with. um, with mon's family and they get on well with me i'm and like yeah (laughs) obviously i'm not 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 as i'm not doing fucking squirties in front of the family (laughs) you you gotta know your audience otherwise probably be a bit bloody different (laughs) 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 imagine that at christmas i don't want to think about that (laughs) yeah opening presents and just just rush gets up and pulls his ass out in front of his family You push Esther like in a really violent manner into the fire. (laughs) (laughs) Quickly get up. Oh man. Yeah, and obviously never, never ever. Next question is from In the Night Andy. Uh, What do you two disagree on the most? And can you tell Yulia I love him the most? Um, oh, where there used to be, we used to butt heads a bit with politics and like conspiracy sh- theory shit, but we've just sort of learned how to communicate about those things without, without arguing. Now, as you get older, you sort of care a lot less. Well, I care a lot less about it and fucking 
Yeah, so like, that would be the that would be probably the. But yeah, there's no there's never there's nothing fundamental that we disagree about. Yeah, like we fucking love like the same music and shit, the same sense of comedy a lot of the time. But it's easy if you have a lot in common. Yeah, mm. and we do kiss heaps. Yeah, that keeps the relationship. Listen to the band. Alive. I think the sex is very important in a friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is from Dylan Pemberton. Mm. Um, we've already answered this today, but it's still a good question. Do dog do dogs act the same in front of your girlfriends? Mainly directed at Marby. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I do do some fucking sickening farts and stuff around Mon, but of course I tone back the the gross you would shit. Have full frontal <laughs> asshole in your face. Yeah, of course I tone that down a little bit, but everything else, yeah, is exactly the same. I don't know how the fuck she. Like it is, yeah. It's not. It wouldn't be easy putting up with a fucking <laughs> disgusting, annoying shit that I do all the time. You should play her a song it's next so time. So annoying. Get the recorder. <laughs> Take it home. <laughs> Whenever I get bored, I just have to entertain myself and annoy someone. <laughs> Ow! Got my fucking knuckle. I was a bit bored. <laughs> next question is from Go with the Flow. Um. Do you know if Jackson is fighting on the undercard for the Logan Paul fight? I don't think it's Logan Paul. It might be Jake Paul, isn't it? Yeah, Jake Paul. Yeah, we had a chat to him today. He's planning on it. Yeah, he's. Uh, it's going ahead as of now. But, you know, there's a lot of fucking... T- a lot of... What do they call it? Tease to cross. Tease to and cross eyes and eyes to dot. to dot and all this paperwork shit. So, it's nothing set in stone. But at, at the moment, yes. But by the time you're listening to this, maybe not. Mm. Never know. Oi! Fuck you! <laughs> I shave your mic as well. Wow, looks so very different. good. Straight away. Sh- sharpened it. Um, next question is from Al Pal. Can you prove that Matt is not a hologram? Yeah, I can see the fucker. I've, I've had him. I've well, felt his he flesh. needs to fucking subscribe to the University of Markle. Unbelievable. That will show he's not. Yeah, but we felt him. We, we can see him. Yeah, we true. Grabbed his flesh. Yeah, we've, we've sexually assaulted him a few so times. So many times. Hang on. I can And look, he's right here. Get on gun. Put your hand. Doesn't go See? through. Look. Can't Hit do him. that with holograms. Hit him harder. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh that's good. Oh. Me. All right. Are we up to the German segment? No. <laughs> um, almost. We're nearly there. Um do you ever plan on doing a live stream podcast? That's from JT Sports. Well, funny, me and Maddie were talking about maybe doing a live one for the like just randomly a live one here in Brisbane. And we get like a live audience to watch, but yeah, we don't know. We should, yeah, we we fucking talked about it. So yeah, it's definitely on the cards. It's a great idea. Woo! Do you guys think we should do it? Comment and subscribe. Like, sh- don't forget to push that big red red button, man. Well, I can't believe that they still, everyone still always says that. All the YouTubers all say. Yeah, it's like the ending of everything. Mm. Make and sure you beginning. subscribe. Hit that big fat red subscribe. Smash it. Smash that like before button. Before they go Hit to the do something. Hit the subscribe button. Oh, it's it's like, like, before I do up. that, make sure you press this button. <laughs> You're going to do that if you don't press the button at all. Just let the people, if they like you, let them push the button. Yeah. But, but push the button. The fucking button. And the last one is from Liam G. Matthew Brown didn't say anything in the first 10 minutes of the first podcast. Words have been said, have they? <laughs> yes. Yeah, Michael and I had a big chat. We thought, you know, fucking that cunt. We threatened him. He's fucking, he's fucking on our turf and he's fucking talking. Yeah. So, yeah, we had a stern word to Matt. And, um, yeah, you sh- just shut the fuck up. I, gra- I was grabbing his throat. <laughs> Yeah, Michael Full had him on the ground and was like standing over him and they were both like elevated, like floating. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I got a bit dark. Special powers. So I was a little quiet. Hey, what the fuck did we just say, Matt? Question time's over. Guys, we're thinking about trialing a new uh, segment. I thought you had a fart ready. Um, Okay. (laughs) We want to hear paranormal and alien stories so that you've encountered send him in on instagram send him in on uh, fucking uh, fucking the youtube comment we'll you can screenshot them and next week we'll trial it out and then if it's shit segment we'll drop it okay so just let's let's, let's just think about it sticky bum german time <laughs> fuck's sake it is no 
Ist German Town. Ach du lieber, ach du lieber, ach du lieber Deutsch, Deutsch, ach du lieber, ach du lieber Deutsch, Deutsch. <lacht> is the name of a German segment. And this is a segment Very where, good. where I just casually read out some German phrases and they're funny. I'm so excited. Dude. And they're funny because they translate, literally translate to some funny things. There's no other reason they're funny. It's just um, a strange literal translation. It's, um, they sound ridiculous. So, That's why they're funny. So I will. Yes, yes, I'm so excited. <laughs> so excited. All right, so I'm just going to read these out like I was speaking to another fellow German and we're just having a conversation. <clears throat> All right, first one. Du kannst warten, bis du schwarz wirst. Du kannst warten, bis du schwarz wirst. Du kannst warten, bis du schwarz wirst. <laughs> Which means you can wait until you become black. <laughs> <laughs> Which means, i.e., it means you, it will never happen. So, but it literally tr translates to you can wait until you become black. What a weird saying that Germans say. Well, it's like saying, uh, we well, could wait here till the cows come home. Okay, wow. All right, next one. Something like that, you know? <laughs> All right, next uh, German phrase read completely casually. <clears throat> Was zu viel ist, ist zu viel. <laughs> Was zu viel ist, ist zu viel. Zu viel. It is zu viel. Which means what too much is, is too much. <laughs> What too much is, is too much, it means, which means like it's, it's enough. To feel. It means enough. So when you want someone to stop talking, you say, Was zu viel ist, das zu viel. What's enough in German? That is fuck. That um, is so fuck. Zu viel. Zu viel. All right. Okay. It's zu viel. Who says that? This is okay. um. Next one. <laughs> you know, there are millions of people that speak this language every day. Millions of people Sophia. speaking. Like it, it might sound funny to you, but this is how people talk. Okay, this is how people talk when they know another language. <laughs> okay. Oh yes. Here we go. Next one. Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> okay. This next one. Ready? Wieder was gelernt. Wieder was gelernt. Wieder was gelernt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Always have to say it three times to get Matt. Oh. Michael only once. Oh. And again, that means, again, what learned, which means learning never stops. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wieder was gelernt. <laughs> wieder was gelernt. Oh, scheiße, wieder was gelernt. <laughs> oh mein Gott, ich hab wieder was gelernt. <laughs> And that's how you would use that in a sentence. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, fuck, dude. Right, we more. get four each episode, right? Yeah, one more. <clears throat> oh, yes. <laughs> I'm trying to read this word. So, I, 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 my German needs to not to... I was only three when we moved here. <laughs> so, I struggled with reading. Uh, give me one second. Okay, I got it. Da wird der Hund in die Pfanne verrückt. Da wird der Hund in die Pfanne verrückt. Verrückt. Verrückt, verrückt, verrückt. <laughs> oh, what the fuck does that mean? Which means there becomes the dog in the pan crazy. <laughs> that is so which, which mean, which ridiculous. It, and oh you would God. say that when you're trying to say, what the hell? Da wird der Hund in der Pfanne verrückt! Da wird der Hund in der Pfanne verrückt! Oh man, it sounds a bit French at the end. Verrückt! Oh, I reckon the second one was the best one. That was fucking good. Just Can the you meaning of it? Just It's say pretty it funny again. meaning, eh? <laughs> was zu viel ist, ist zu viel. <laughs> it's a funny meaning. I know what you mean. Yeah, it's, it's comical, the meaning behind it. Oh, dude. Very, Nothing else about that is funny. Very good. You fucking... Oh. I, don't want, I don't want to say you're racist. <laughs> I just... German language gets me, dude. It's a different... It's a different ball game. <laughs> it's a fucking different ball game. Wow. And that's oh. how you speak German, man. Yeah. Or is it da? 
Wasser. Ja, das. Wasser. 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 Die Mädchen. Die Mädchen. Die Mädchen. <lacht> die Mädchen sind für Kartoffelkäfer. That's what we would say traveling through Germany. Die Mädchen sind für uns. And which means the girls are for us. I thought you said it was the humans. No, die Mädchen. Mädchen is girls. Oh, there you go. And we would sing that. A fustoodle. Like, prancing down the street. We'd <laughs> sing it all six of us. Like, how is innocent. there a word for a potato bug? Who even says potato bug? But, Potato bug. That's like four syllable. That's that's a pretty big word. Kartoffelkäfer. It's yeah. only one more syllable. Okay. So how about you? Like you, you just fucking calm down. Is it meant to be a lady beetle? What? Kartoffelkäfer. Yeah. Kartoffelkäfer is ladybug. Why don't you say ladybug? What's ladybug? Look, in it German? might be like the anatomically correct word for it. Oh no, it's potato bug. That's what it translates to. Yeah. When you amazing. went and stay with your family in Germany, and you took the guys there. Um, did your relatives speak in German the whole time? Yeah, of course. Was oh, he- no, they they can speak a little bit of English, but yeah, pretty much just German. I was, I was everyone's conversation tool interpreter. That was a stressful week, for <laughs> man. You. Yeah, because <laughs> because like, especially because grandma would be like, like, oh, tell him this joke, and I'm like, oh, it's the fucking shittest joke. So I'd literally tell him like, this is a joke, boys. I just laugh after I say it, and then tell him the joke. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> yeah, dude. Was Michael just laughing the whole time? Cause nah, Michael joke. was a bit stressed out because there was no uh, McDonald's or like b- <laughs> yeah. fucking hot chips in a the lolly house. store that nearby. Was, that was back when Michael ate nothing but fucked food. Yeah, dude. Nothing right. but fucked food. <laughs> Lunch, <stressed>. dinner, breakfast, <laughs> fucked. And ma- grandma was cooking all these exquisite German traditional meals. She did supply constant beers, though. So, like, that yeah. was pretty fucking cool. Yeah, and it's just normal, old traditional German to have a shot of, like, similar to Jägermeister. Kummerling. You got the drunkest you've ever been there. <sighs> Man, that was disgusting. Remember the next day we had to go on some fucking tour and I was throwing up in the fucking snow? Every was- fucking 10 minutes he's throwing up in a different place as we're going on this tour. torture. Oh, that was very entertaining. Remember the Christmas little... <laughs> It was like a Christmas festival. Yeah, yeah, I remember. You got up on stage and then nativity set. I don't remember that. We all did. It was very funny. Anyway, fucking good times. Oh, my maga, we love you. Oh, my maga, oh, my maga. <laughs> oh, man, I'm well, very good. This segment has changed mm. me. Nikki. She Nikki, provided. thank you. Thank you so much. Why? Yeah, it's pretty funny how the words translate like that. It's very nice. It's just a good moment. The never, sounds make me happy. Never <laughs> thought it would be such a popular segment. Well, yeah, dude. Thank God you were born in Germany. That's all I have to say. God had nothing to do with it. Well, thank God. My dad pumped Germany. a load up my mum in <laughs> Germany and that's how it happened. <laughs> in the east. That's what happened the to you too. part of Berlin. Yeah, I guess it happened to everyone. Your dad fucked your mom hard. <laughs> like, he, he, yeah. he would have gone hard at that. And then you were born because of the result of your dad. It, his body twisting euphorically as you shot out of his nut bag straight into your mom's guts. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then you swam with all the other little Michaels pushing me out of the way. You swam up to her fucking egg. <laughs> I remember. Bye, you know what? Eating through your mum's egg. <laughs> and then you fucking morphed into this cunt. <laughs> spat out of her pussy. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> no, I was cut out. I was cut out. The umbilical cord was wrapped around my Oh, really? Neck. I was about to die. <laughs> so very lucky. Thank God I'm here. And thank Germany. Germany, well done. Thank you. Ach du Lieber. <laughs> All right, it's time for the next segment, which is the pawn boxing. The pawn boxing. We have the PO unboxing segment where we open shit that you guys send to our PO box, Whoa. which is right fucking here. So you want to send us anything, we open it live on the podcast. We do not know what is in these. 256 Tagum, Queensland, 4018. And we've been sent shits before. <clears throat> Human shit. Yeah. And asking, drugs. And drugs too, yep. You can go back to past episodes to watch that. Mm, we don't know the numbers, though. All right. So, this is a package to Marty and Michael. Let's see I reckon it it's says. jelly beans. Listen, you can... It sounds something edible. Let's hope it's not something fucked hot thing that oh. we always get sent. Oh. It's like old teasers. <sighs> Come on. Could it be? Oh. Oh, Could yeah. It it's be? like rip- peeling the skin back off a cow. Could it sort it of reminds me of... With a spoon. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you rip the skin back like that to expose the what bone and muscle. Be? Oh, I was right. 
bean boozled. It's fucking jelly beans, boys. Where are Holy they from? Shit. Willy Wonka. Ah! Whoa, that's scary. Oh, we have been sent bean boozled jelly beans. Oh, this is that thing where you, where it's fucking gross flavors and nice flavors, and you spin the little thing and then you pick a color. I'm and it could be, oh yeah. All right, we'll play a fucking. We'll play your game. We'll play a round or two once I'm through this packaging. Who sent this to us? I don't, it doesn't have a name on it. Oh. This is an anonymous person. Thank you. Thank you so much, whoever sent this. Again, my voice is all fucked again for some reason after speaking German. Here's the list of them. All right, do you want to go first, Michael? Yes. All right, you got a rotten egg, a blue one. <laughs> no. <laughs> here's your, How do you know it's blue? Here's your rotten egg, my darling. I guess it just looks like that, right? Okay. And I got a strawberry banana smoothie. Oh, it's lucky. <laughs> Dude. No, oh, actually, it says all dead fish underneath it. Oh, so I see. It's so bad. You can either get something. <laughs> Michael's struggling. You can either get something delicious or something disgusting. Oh, so it's the yeah, they look the same, but they're not. I'm just gonna grab a fucking handful and see what happens. No, no, no. Oh, that was. Okay, sick. so I've got about twenty of them here, all different colors. Let's see what the end result is. If it's more disgusting or more delicious. Oh God. This could be berry Ooh. blue or toothpaste. Oh. <laughs> Overall, not good. Not good at all. They're very bad. You got it wrong? I think that was the stink bug. <laughs> <laughs> They're all shit. If you want like a snack, don't buy it. If you want to play a fun game, buy it. Because it's like, yeah, I was sort of hoping for some nice jelly beans, but. Oh, this one could be dish, dishwash water. It is. I see they're gross every time. Oh my god. Let's have some banana. All right, again, this is a, a little parcel to oh. Marty Michael. Doesn't have who sent this to us. They live in Riverstone, New South Wales. So anyway, let's open this up. Oh, I'm scared to open this up. We hope you're satisfied with the product and customer service. So Happy Valley Seeds, we genuinely appreciate it. If you could spread the positive way, blah, blah, blah. What is this? Maybe they're trying to fucking Serve get your like garden a- seeds. Oh, where are the garden seeds? Someone sent us some garden seeds. We'll plant them and see what happens. Maybe it's like the Jack and the Beanstalk thing. Thank you, whoever sent us this, some fucking garden seeds. We'll go scatter them around. Make sure the birds aren't there, Matt. Because mm. they pick them up straight away. Done. You- Don't you just actually put it underground? Yeah, you get wet the ground a bit and you like a little finger, you push them down and cover it up again and water them. Ow. <laughs> All right, guys, moving right along. Oh, my God. Is it fucking prank call time already? Oh, my God, Matt Brown. What the fuck? It's prank call time. And this week, Arnold Fine. He's having a sleep. Well, he hit his wife pretty hard. So he's not in a good way. So this week we got um, Darren the Junkie. Who's going to attempt to get a job interview somewhere? I'm just going to. Hey, Tyler, how you going, bro? I'm Darren. Um, I'm just calling around, right, seeing if there's um, any of you hiring right now, or is there like no jobs going around or something? Um, you have to apply online, man. If you go to the KFC website, you'll be able to um, put all your details into there, and then like we do like a little spot check every couple of days, and then. Um we can go from there. Yeah, my, my, back home, my computers, um, the internet's out and that, and like my, my computer's a bit old and stuff, but if I come in or something, could I just like maybe hand in my resume and have a like talk maybe to a manager there, right, if you just get more details, and like I'll even do like free, like I'll do a free trial run on that, like I'll come in, you guys don't even need to say nothing, I'll just be in the back like cleaning up. And then if you's fucking like fucking down with that, I'm fucking sweet and fucking hook us up, brother. I literally can't, bro. You'd have to you'd have to put it through online because like they integrated all the systems to put everything online now. So like I can't even like to put you through like to as an employment. It has to go on the internet. But, but remember, I said about that computer and that broken. So but so like I can't if I can't apply. Is that is that word apply online? How am I going to get, like, work in that if, my, like, because, like, i got to get money to pay for the laptop, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So, I, like, I can't get the money unless you, like, hire me first. Do you know what I mean? Right. I, they, I can't change it, bro. Unless you have someone you can go to to get it sorted, like, I can't do anything for you in the store. Oh, you reckon, like, 
So, but I could take the resume, but nothing would come out can of it. I you know use your, so, can so I use your... So, can I use... you? Maybe, do you have a laptop? Maybe I could, like, come around and um, just type my application out on that. And then, like, you could, like, you see if I'm, like, good follower on that. And if you think that's good and that, then you, then you could fucking say to the manager and that, say, yeah, this boy's fucking on. I'll bring some beers over. I can't, man. We only have the one computer, and that's our desktop oh, computer. Please. And to be able to come behind house, you have to be hired. Yeah, see, that's it's like it's like a fucking like a triangle of like fuck, cause like I can't, I can't apply for it, cause my laptop's like fucked. But I need to work to pay for the fucking lappy. You know what I mean? So it's like a triangle. You see what I'm saying? It's like a fucking triangle, of, triangle of fuck. Can I bring some beers? Well, um, well, how about I just fucking bring some beers over and we'll fucking um, just get on it. Yeah, sounds good. All right, Bruss, well, I'll fucking step by a fucking couple of hours with my resume and we'll fucking get, go from there, brother. Because, like, I ain't, like I know, like, he's got, like, protocol and that, but, like, I'm just, like, type of bloke who's, like, fucking, like, I don't take no for an answer, you know what I mean? I'm just, like, fucking um, heaps entrepreneurial and that. So, like, I'll fucking come in. Look, don't don't say yes, no yet. No, don't give me an answer yet, bruv. But just, I'll come in with beers. If you're still working, we'll fucking have a couple of fucking beers. Have a little takey <laughs> And we'll see where things go But Look Russ You can say no But I'm coming in I'm coming in with beers And uh, we'll see if we have a good time bro. What do you fucking think about that bro? If I wasn't working It'd be good man But I can tell you now If you're not taking no bro It's going to be the same question with, uh, Same answer when you come in dude Ma, you, uh, you, I'll bet I'll bet by the end of this month Right I'll bet you I'm like Up on like your level Like work and that Like you watch We'll be fucking We'll be fucking running around Managing the joint day. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I can't do anything more for you. No worries, bruss. What was your name, bruss? Tyler. Tyler. Well, Tyler, fucking lovely chatting to you, bruss. I have a fucking feeling we'll be seeing more of each other, bruss. But anyway, I'll let you get back to work, bruss, because, like, I know you's busy and that, and I'm always, like, thinking about, like, fuck, like, they must be, like, doing fucking burgers and shit. So I'll, I'll, I'll be quick, but I'm just letting you know, bruss, I'll fucking be around because I love KFC, and seriously, I reckon I'm fucking bored for the fucking job. <laughs> Right on, mate. All right, bro. Right I'll chat to you fucking later on, bro. Happy bloody right sermon, bro. See you, right Tol- on, See you, Tolsey. Oh. <laughs> oh <wow. laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I think the next thing with the prank calls is I'm gonna try and line up a job interview as that character. So every week I'll call fucking two or three and I won't stop until I, I have a legitimate crack at a, at a job interview every and week. And we'll go for the website. We'll film it in a vlog. You actually going once someone actually tells them. And we'll put, the the audio, the we'll put the audio on the podcast too so you dogs oh. don't miss out. So yeah, that's the plan of the prank calls and we'll fucking <laughs> um, stay true to yourself, I guess, is the message that we want to spread. Stay true to yourself and always have a goal. Michael? Shit with the door open. Exactly. Where the best, where the best, where the best boys in the world, where the best, where the best boys, where the best boys, where the best, where the best in the world. Clap, Matt. Clap louder. You fucking clap! You dance, monkey! Get up and dance! Get up! Yeah! Oh, yeah, boy!